Okay, so we are diving deep today hmm. into Cher's new memoir, at least part it's one. Part one, yeah. And even just this part oh, yeah. is like, whoa. So much there. Like, this is this is more than just like the glitz and glam. Right, and everyone's like, oh, and, Cher, yes. the outfit. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, But there's like real depth to her story. It's like resilience overcoming challenges that's what got me was and it's like behind the scenes of fame yeah the stuff you don't see that we don't usually think about right right exactly like you think of you think of sharon it's like you know she's on top of the world yeah it's like all the success all and her. she's still going yeah but what she went through to get there exactly that's incredible and she starts right at the beginning meeting sonny bono at 16. yeah i mean 16. he's 16. he was 11 years older than her so 27. The big. Already working in the music industry. Yeah, and it was the 60s. The 60s, imagine that. Like, totally different world. Totally different. And yeah. thinking about like the power dynamics there, it makes you wonder. You can't even, it just shapes their whole relationship. Totally. It's like you can't, you can't separate that context. It wasn't a fairy tale. No. It's more complex. Way more complex. Yeah. It was a partnership for sure. Right. But built in this really specific time and place. Right. And then they explode. They explode. Onto the scene. It wasn't just the music. No. It was like this whole Sonny and Cher. It was a brand. Yeah. It was It was them. Like that back and forth they did on their show. It was like their, it was like a character almost. Yeah. And people loved it. Oh, they ate it up. But reading what Cher says. Yeah. It's different. She talks about feeling trapped. Right, like controlled, even. Makes you rethink everything. Yeah, like you think, oh, they were this playful couple. Well, but maybe that was part of the, like, the act. It's like a performance. Performance, Not yeah. the real story. That's it. And I think it goes beyond just them. It's like that whole era. Yeah. Especially for women. Oh, absolutely. In entertainment. It was like you had to fit into this box. Right. Be this certain way. And Cher's book is like, no. It's like, nope. I'm telling you how it really was. Yeah. Like, look beyond the surface. There's a whole other side. And think about the pressure on women. It's like, even now. It's still happening today. It makes you think, yeah. In different ways, maybe. But some things haven't changed enough. Right, there's still that expectation. And then there's the Vegas story? Oh, the Balcon. It's 1972, right? Yeah, 72. And she's already huge. Huge star. But she's standing on this balcony. Thinking about... Thinking about ending it. It's chilling when you read it. Because you think... You think she's got it all. She's got everything, yeah. But inside... So lonely. Yeah, like that despair. It's like fame doesn't fix everything. It doesn't protect you. And back then, talking about mental health... Oh, forget it. Especially for a celebrity. Huge taboo. Yeah. So for her to be open about it now... It's powerful. It's huge, and it shows, like... It's okay to not be okay. Yeah, and it's okay to ask for help. Even if you look like you have it all together. Exactly. Nobody has it all figured out. Right. We all struggle sometimes. No, the, the business side. Share enterprises. That blew my mind. She had no ownership. None. Zero. After all those years working. Years of work. Hit records. The show. It was Sunny. And his lawyer. Yeah. It's crazy. It really makes you think. How many other artists especially were artists? taken advantage of? Yeah. It's like, was this common practice? Makes you wonder. And it's not just back then either. Right. Like, Things have changed legally. There are laws now. But it's still about power. And making sure artists I control have a say over their own work yeah their own careers it's not just about signing a contract it's about respect yeah agency but what's amazing is shares resilient through all of that yeah tough childhood dyslexia people forget that stuff all the obstacles but she just reinvented herself constantly evolving from the bob mackie gowns to the rock and roll yeah and it wasn't just to stay relevant it was real yeah it was like this is who i am now Embracing change. And not being afraid to be different. It's inspiring. It's like, own your story. Yeah, be vulnerable. Don't let the past define you. And it makes you think, Yeah. how can we all do that? What can we learn from her? About turning challenges into opportunities. That's a great question. It's something to think about. And I'm so ready for part two. Me too, there's got to be more. I can't wait to hear what else she has to say. Her story's not over, and I think that's part of why she's so fascinating. Right, it's like she never stops. Refuses to be put in a box. Yeah, that's why she's an icon. Absolutely. So much more than just the outfits. So much more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go pre-order part two right now. I think I will too. Until next time. See ya. See ya.